If you've got a Jackson Cusa FD that was made before 2019, there's an upgrade you can get that will improve the tracking and make it easier to steer. And I'll take you through how to install it right now. The Jackson Kayak guys have made an upgrade to their 2019 models that we can apply retroactively to our earlier models. And I've got a 2018 right here. And what it does is it replaces the small steering controls with these larger ones that make it easier to grab a hold of them and move forward. And the second thing it does is it changes out some of the rudder components that will keep you from having to feather as you move and that will improve tracking. And it's a really simple upgrade to install. It's also pretty inexpensive. I think it costs around $35, which is probably close to Jackson's cost when you look at what you get. So let me take you through the components that come with it, and then we'll go ahead and swap it out. So you can see there's not really much to it. You get a new boomerang that's going to attach to the uh, rudder, the new steering controls, and you have the new rods that go with the new steering controls. It's basically just four screws and a couple of these couplers, and then you're done. Let's get to it. The first step is to remove the old assembly. And to start with, we pop the rudder off, and then we use an Allen wrench to remove these two screws. In case you want to go back, be sure you recognize that you have a washer on top and a washer between. Now let me get the other one. Now that I have all this disassembled, I need to disconnect the steering control from these rods so I can pull them out. The next step is to go ahead and undo these two little set screws to be able to free up the steering control. Now obviously I made my modification here to attach a longer control to the small knob. So once I get these two set screws out, and I want to be careful that I don't, don't lose these in case I want to go back. Now as I pull this out, you can see that everything's going to move down. So I want to be able to grab these as each of the components comes off so I don't lose anything. Installing the new rig is pretty simple. The first step is I'll take the boomerang and I'll attach it right here to the actual rudder control. Once you have the boomerang on, now we put the two rods on and you put the flat side down. Now the recommended way to start this is you start this just a little bit just to get it going and you want to be sure that you do not over tighten. So I'll pop this on each side and then we will insert and attach the controllers. The next step will be to push these two rods into the slots. So before you do that, be sure you have the boomerang oriented properly. Now as you slide it in, you got to look up to where the steering controls are going to go because you only want to slide this in far enough to get through so now I can attach the controls before I push it the rest of the way in. Now that the rod is up in this area, I can put the control on. Be sure you put it on the correct way. You want this uh, key right here to fit down in the slot. That way you can lock it down tight. The next step is to attach the new controller on. And what I want to do first is make sure it fits on there smoothly. So I know I don't have to drill this out anymore. And now here's the tricky part. I've got to take this uh, coupler right here. I've got to put the rod through the first half of it. And then I've got to thread this on the end of the tube and then push that through the other side. The final step to make sure your steering controls are in the right place is to make sure that your rudder is perfectly aligned straight along the center. Then we'll go up to the steering controls and pull both of them back to the slot. Then we know we're good. With the rudder perfectly aligned. Now I make sure this key goes into the slot and I'll do that on both sides. That way I know these are both exactly centered. Then the final step is I'll put the set screw back in and lock everything down. 
that's all there is to installing this upgrade. Be sure you don't lose those set screws. Comments? Throw them down below. Thanks.